All right, uh, I've got I've got something very significant here. I I really believe that uh, that what I've been saying uh, in recent days and weeks that the world of work is continually shifting below our feet, like it's changing rapidly. I think this is an example. Uh, this is fascinating article here. Headline: U.S. hospitals turn to gig platforms on nurse shortage. Now, I will tell you that when I saw the headline, you know, I, I talk about the gig economy all the time, and I was like, I don't, I don't think I understand that. What? 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 I, you, I mean, just think about the value of a nurse in a medical situation, certainly a hospital. U.S. hospitals turn to gig platforms on nurse shortage. So here we go. Drawn by higher pay and greater flexibility, there's a growing number of nurses turning to gig work. Now, gig work, if this is a new concept to you, is really about freelance work. It's more of a a, a kind of a new way to say freelancing. And so that could be anything from a freelance graphic design job to Uber. Okay? That's the idea. Not a full-time job. I'm picking it up. I'm doing it when I can. It's more of a shift pace shift-based work than it is uh, a, a normal work rhythm. Okay, so this is happening in nursing. And nurses are picking up individual shifts on an app as the alternative to the contract that could be months long or a year long or full-time employment with a hospital. U.S. hospitals are trying new ways to alleviate a staffing crunch. I've talked about the staffing crunch on the show. 100,000 registered nurses left the workplace due to stresses in the COVID-19 pandemic. This from the National Council of State Boards of Nursing. So over the last two or three years, it was primarily 2020, 2021, 100,000 nurses walked away. Uh, Over 600,000 are expected to leave. By 2027. Now, you go, oh, 2027. No, that ain't out there. I mean, we're on the heels of 2024 right now. 100,000 gone, 600,000 more expected to leave the industry. They're not training them that fast, kids. They're just not. As of 2022, the U.S. had about 5.2 million active registered nurses. I mean, you think about 600,000 leaving, that is crazy. So there's a staffing crisis. Deborah Visconti, chief executive of Bergen Newbridge Medical Center, is a medical center where they are actually using these apps, gig worker nurses, to fulfill their positions. And she said, we have a full-blown crisis of staffing. Many people have decided to early retire or switch professions. The hospital started working with a platform named CareRev, and about 150 nurses have signed up to work at the center through the app. Um, Visconti, chief executive, went on to say, within a couple of hours, we can have somebody pick up a shift. This pool of workers, the 150, fill 80% of the hospital's vacancies. Aya Healthcare, another app that's providing gig healthcare workers, said it saw a 54% rise in the number of gig shifts filled by nurses in the last year. Across the country, the total number of available shifts has climbed by 62%. So what that means is hospitals, clinics are jumping in and they're going, we got openings. If you got people, Here we go. And so it's it's like a dating app for nurses and hospitals. Hey, I'm looking for work. So why is this lucrative for the nurse? Let's play this out because this is going to impact the world of work, I think, in a big way. In fact, I, I, you know, I say things like this every once in a while and I got it in my gut because I do pay attention. I'll say to Alex and Amin, I go, I'm telling you, the shift is not done. There's a lot changing. I think the world of work is going to look really different in the next. I'll say something like that, and I really believe it, and then bam, this is here, this is now. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna unpack this. Why am I talking to you about this? How are you going to be impacted by this? I'll tell you in a second. But now this is a win for the nurses. Why? Well, nurses have more flexibility now. By the way, 
the nurses are making at least, are you hearing me? At least 30% more. So if they sign a contract that is a, like a traveling nurse, like a six or 12 month contract, or they're fully, they're full-time employee of the hospitals, by working through these services, because they're on demand, and understand this is supply-demand issues, folks. I talk about this all the time. I think sometimes you people glaze over. You're like, oh, he's talking about supply-demand again. Well, now watch. When we have all these nurses jumping out, okay, to the tune of over 100,000, there's a lot of holes. Hospitals need to fill them. So they can't get someone to work full-time for them, a nurse. They can't get a six- or 12-month contract, but they can get them to show up. I need you Monday Tuesday and Wednesday night for the graveyard shift. You put it out on these apps, and a nurse goes, this is great. Pick up three graveyard shifts, clock some great money, and I still have the weekend to go to the lake. Boom, I'm in. Click, I'm in. Show up, and they're a nurse. Now, that's the win for the nurse. The hospitals, according to this article, will say this is a win for them. Okay? Okay. Susan Pasley, chief nursing officer at the app CareRev that we, we, we talked about at the beginning of the story. She says, we have an aging population that demands more health care services, and we're in the midst of a crisis. So hospitals are looking for flexible options. So this is a win for the nurses that are gig nurses. This is a win for the hospital in the sense of they can get workers it's, it allows them to be flexible from a scheduling standpoint. And they're just filling the gaps, folks. They're just like this. Plate falling off over here. Got to catch it. Plate falling off over here. I got to catch it. And that's what they're doing. Now, what does or what do the critics of this system say? Naturally, we have a spokesperson from the National Nurses Union. Take this with a shaker of salt anytime you got a union spokesperson. What this will result in is the lack of being prepared, not having enough nurses present on site to respond to emergencies or influxes of patients. Well, this is what the union spokesperson is saying, but we have multiple quotes from people who are running hospitals or running these apps, and it's working. So the union only wants things to work if it's union-sanctioned and benefiting the union. So... There you go. I've hacked off a bunch of you now that think unions are so good for everybody. They're not. But here's where I think there's a real negative. Imagine the nurses who are full-time employees. They're just as qualified, just as good, serving. They're just as overloaded as every other nurse. And they didn't sign up on this app. They're under contract. or they're And they're seeing nurses come in that aren't a part of their normal team. And this nurse just comes in, hey, Susie's in tonight, tomorrow night, and the night after that. And she learns that, oh, I'm 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 a part of the gig nursing gig over here. Oh. And she figures out that they're making 30% more than her. That's where this is going to get sticky. This is a short fix, a long-term fix. I don't think we're ready for that. This is going to create a lot of tension if this moves beyond nursing where you got the gig worker making more money than the person who's loyal. Now, what do you think is going to happen? You know what's going to happen. We've got a storm on the horizon. Let's see how this shakes out. We'll be watching.